Good morning, beautiful wise women. I'm here with you today to celebrate you. Today is Think Outside the Box Thursday. And I, I'm sitting here kind of chuckling at myself because I pull, usually pull um, a oracle card in the morning and I've been working with the Divine Feminine Oracle. Just thinking about you as the wise woman, me as the wise woman, and being the medicine, M, capital M, medicine, for ourselves, for our communities. And I pulled, this morning I pulled the card, Rita of Cassia. And I knew, I knew nothing about her. She's considered the patroness of impossible causes. And it, it really ties in with the subject that I want to talk about today. Um, when I was reading the description for her, that uh, St. Rita is really asking us foremost to never give up on what we want for ourselves. And I think about this a lot as I work with women who are moving through their menopause journey and trying to sort it all out, uh, trying to make peace with the past, trying to be in the present moment, uh, trying to manage the changes that are happening in their bodies. And it's a time where we really need to put ourselves first. And I don't mean that in a selfish way. I mean that in a self-care way. So um, I really want to let you feel into this thinking outside the box today of what do you want for the next chapter of your life? What do you want that to look like? What is really calling you? What did you imagine maybe that you were younger that you wanted to do or wanted to be involved in or just uh, something you wanted to have an endeavor in and you never put yourself first to allow that to happen, okay? Think about that. And I know that might bring up some of those things that we talk about getting in the way, the, the denial, the shame, the guilt, the regret, and the resentment. But I want you to stay with it. I want you to lean into it a little bit, um, lean into those uncomfortable places so that something really beautiful can come from that. Also, how do you wanna feel? You know, what we're doing um, affects how we feel, you know, whether that's if we're binging on Netflix and eating pints of ice cream, um, that's a different outcome other than if we're out taking a walk every day, being in nature, smelling fresh air, connecting with others in meaningful ways. What kind of people do you want to surround yourself with? Who do you want to be in your life? Look around at who's in your life now and are those relationships serving you well? How do you wanna be of service to your family, to your friends, and to your community? And where do you see yourself living? Maybe you wanna travel a little bit and explore some other places. Yeah, think about all of that. Will you be working still? Are you retired? kind of meaningful um, work will you be doing? That might be volunteer work too. And what fulfilling activities are you engaged in? I know we're limited right now because of the new COVID rules and things like that, but think beyond that. Think outside the box. Think outside the boundaries of what you've allowed yourself to be in up until now. I wanna help you with that, and I wanna dive a little bit more deeper into that. In the Divine Feminine Oracle Cards, the soul voice meditation today is, what do I believe is possible for my life? What do you believe is possible for your life? Do some dreaming. And the intention is, I am miraculous. My prayers create powerful channels of possibility. And you could say your dreams create powerful channels of possibility too. So get out your journals, go into your dream time tonight, 
dream big. I had a notebook once that had, uh, I cut out a big picture from a magazine that said dream big. And it was my, um, my notebook for unfathomable, unlimitable uh, potential and big dreams. So I'm going to offer uh, a free menopause mastery class on December 3rd at 4 p.m. I'll be telling you more about that over the next few days. I wanna invite you to come and be part of that because part of that class is, we're gonna break down a little bit about how to fulfill your dreams, how to um, even formulate them or start thinking in that direction. Really, what do you wanna do in this next phase of your life? Because it's a beautiful journey if you choose to um, take the opportunities, and some of those are scary. But I'll be with you all the way, as usual. Um, today, let's pick an oil and a point for today. I've been really feeling into the heart space a lot. And one of my favorite oils to use on the heart space is cardamom. Cardamom has just such a warm, spicy, uh, keeping my heart open to the adventure, but still being in a safe place. So CV17, middle of the sternum, a drop of cardamom. I like to dilute it 50%. If you can find a special dark cardamom, I know Monara, M-O-N-A-R-A dot O-R-G, um, has a special dark cardamom that's just beautiful. Drop on your finger, hold it gently, feeling the warmth of this spicy, pungent oil on CV17, keeping your heart space open, keeping you in a safe space, and opening your heart to all the possibilities. Mm. You could also do the red mandarin, that um, bringer of fortune, if you want to bring some fortune into your life. All right, I will see you tomorrow. And I want you to have a beautiful day. And I will, um, I'll be talking more about the Menopause Success Mastery class. It's free. It's fun. Have a beautiful day. Mwah.